Now with in-depth reporting tonight on a topic we've been keeping an eye on. And this one comes from California, which as of now will allow a new eco-friendly burial method called human composting starting in 2027. The bill was just signed into law by Governor Gavin Newsom over the weekend. And it is a process, human composting, where your deceased loved one is turned into healthy soil. Companies that offer this say every person who chooses this option over more traditional methods like burial or cremation will save one metric ton of carbon from entering the environment. It can cost around five to $7,000. That's a little less expensive than a casket funeral, but it's more expensive than cremation. California is not the first state to be doing this. Washington, Colorado, Oregon, and Vermont now allow human composting. NBC's Kristen Dahlgren has a closer look. Trina Ballard Southern lost her mother, Leanne, just one month ago. She was modest and warm. Thoughtful and practical. One silver lining during this difficult time was their certainty around the funeral. This is exactly who she was and what she would have chosen. They decided on what's called terramation, also known as human composting. Instead of the traditional burial, the human body is composted and turned into soil, which is then given back to the family for future use. There is something in us that wants to return to the earth. Micah Truman is the founder of a Seattle-based funeral home called Return Home, one of a few places in the U.S. offering this option. The process involves organic material and oxygen. The bottom of a specially designed vessel is lined with sawdust, alfalfa, and straw. Then the body is placed inside, dressed with a compostable gown. The vessel is then filled to the top with more organic material and sealed. The oxygen flows through the vessel and takes the body up to temperature. And in 30 days, the body completely transforms into soil. Recompose, another Seattle-based funeral home, integrates families however they choose. Maybe you want to say prayers, sing a song, anoint your person. That's what this room is for. And ceremonies can be personalized for all religions and belief systems. At the end of the process, families are given the remaining soil. Cremation, according to Environmental Advocates New York, uses about 28 gallons of fuel and releases 540 pounds of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere per body. Terramation takes about 90% less energy to complete. And when we're done, we have a material, soil, that can then be used to restart the cycle of life. But not everyone is on board with this kind of legislation. The Catholic Church, for example, opposes it. The New York State Catholic Conference saying in a statement in part, a process whereby human remains are composted and scattered in a designated scattering garden or area in a cemetery fails to sufficiently respect the dignity due the deceased. Trina said she's found comfort in the terramation process and believes that through this option, her mother's legacy of caring for the environment can live on. This is Leanne, how she would choose for herself and others to be mindful of the footprint that she left. And I'm hoping that this will be more widely practiced, that people will see that it's a really beautiful option um, with a lovely result mm -hmm. at the end. That's my, that's my hope. Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News. New Yorkers may also be able to compost their loved ones' remains soon. The state legislature just passed a bill that would allow for human composting, adding it to a list now New York of only a handful of other states that have voted to legalize this option. The bill has not yet been sent to the New York governor's desk. No word on whether she'll sign it. We'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.